will call to order the City of Douglasville's public hearing for today, which is Thursday, August the 17th, here at the Douglasville Conference Center. Um, and this is a discussion and presentation on the tax digest and proposed tax increase. And that will be done by Karen Callen, our finance director. Good evening, Karen Callen, finance director, city of Douglasville. This is our third public hearing for our proposed uh, tax increase for the 2017 tax digest and levy. I have a brief PowerPoint to present this evening. What is included in the tax digest? It is uh, real and personal property, timber, motor ho mobile homes, motor vehicles, heavy duty equipment, public utilities, and exemptions. It's a total property value within the city. When you do receive your um, tax notices, you will have uh, taxes for the Board of Education, the Board of Commissioners, and the City of Douglasville. So please note that um, we are representing just the City of Douglasville's portion on the tax bill. Your tax bill includes the maintenance and operations millage rate, which we call the M&O millage rate, and also it includes your bond millage rate. Uh, the M&O millage rate is the tax rate that is applied to your total property values or tax digest within the city. This determines the amount of property tax revenue billed within the city. We also have the bond millage rate, which is, applied to, which is also applied to the total property values of the city, and it is set up to yield the exact amount of revenue it takes to pay the debt service payment for the police administration building that was approved through voter referendum in 2009. When you add the two together, this equals the amount of your property tax billed. <coughs> the city of Douglasville is proposing the same millage rate as it had the prior year. This is a five-year history that was published in the paper as required by state law. The total maintenance and operations millage rate is 6.911. The bond millage rates are not required to be published in the five-year history. The total tax rate, the bond rate plus the millage rate is decreasing by 0.176 or 2.09%. In this chart, you can see in 2016, the total millage rate, your bond rate plus your m and rate was 8.437. This year, we are proposing 8.261. If your rate is going down, then why are we advertising for a tax increase of 4.38%? That is due to the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. Senate Bill 177 Act 431, which was passed during 1999, it requires that if the levying or recommended authority elects to set its millage rate higher than the rollback rate, then a press release must be issued and three public hearings must be held before the final adoption of the millage rate. And this is the third public hearing. You can see that uh, we have our article, uh, another ad that is required to be published by state law, the notice of property tax increase. If you look at the bottom paragraph, with this tentative tax increase, and this excludes the bond millage rate, this is just the maintenance and operations millage rate, that six, the, the rollback rate was 6.621. On a, if, since we are not adopting the rollback rate, we are adopting a rate that is higher than that. Just on your maintenance and operations portion of your property tax bill, the increase would result in $14.50 a year for a $125,000 house or $17.40 a year for a $150,000 house. During the budget development, uh, our budget is developed with estimates of property values. We have a June 30 fiscal year end, so we start our budget process in March. At that time, we do not know the um, property values or what our rollback rate will be. The Douglas County uh, tax assessors assess all the property within the city, and they handle uh, sending us um, what our rollback rate would be and what our total assessed value of the property in the city is. 
Um, until actuals are known, the millage rate um, is estimated, and that's what we developed a budget around. Collection rates also impact the amount of property tax revenue. If collection rates are 100%, the city will, will receive an additional 228,000 over the adopted budget amount. However, if collection rates are 97%, we will have a shortfall of 21,589. <coughs> Appeals during the year will also reduce the property tax revenue collected. This next chart shows the historical digest values, uh, property value within the city. And we have had a steady decline since 2010 in lost property tax revenue. And just now in 2016 and 2017 are we seeing a slight uptick in property values. In summary, the total rate, of the total tax rate that you'll see on your property tax bills includes the m and maintenance and operations millage rate plus the bond millage rate. The total, the total tax rate will decrease by 2.09% versus the 2016 rate. <clears throat> the m and millage rate did not increase, however, due to the Taxpayer Bill of Rights, we must advertise as a tax increase. And the bond millage rate decreased due to the refinancing of bonds at a lower interest rate. Our debt service payment on the bonds reduced by $136,000 due to the refinancing. This is our final public hearing. Next, we will have a special call meeting to adopt the millage rate. Any comments or questions? ahead of schedule <coughs> so we'll ask for any comments from citizens and delegates at this time as it relates to the discussion in the presentation of the tax digest and proposed tax increase I have a question um, for Karen our finance director can you specifically Karen um, explain how this will affect um, property owners in the city of Douglasville. Yes, if your um, property value increased, then because even though we're keeping our millage rate the same at 6.911, you'll essentially could possibly be paying, um, well, you will be paying more in property taxes. And that's why we have to call it a tax increase. Uh, for a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar house, it was fourteen dollars and fifty cents a year, um, and it is about a four percent increase over um, our rollback rate. However, due to the bond millage rate and our refinancing of the bonds, uh, you do have a net, you have a decrease there. So um, it ends up for a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar house, it ends up being five dollars and seven cents a year. Thank you. Any other comments from the elected officials or citizens and delegates from the audience? No. You're going to come in. Ms. Moberg, she's going to make a comment. Madam City Clerk, do we have a, a citizen make a comment? No. Okay. Ask for a copy of the agenda. Okay. Hello. All right. Well, if we don't have any other comments from citizens and delegates, as oh yes, ma'am. Miss Kirby, if you can come up to the podium, you can oh. make your comments. And oh, it's okay. Try not to be distracted by the screen. We'll turn that back around. Can you please give us your name and address for the record. It was Miss Callum was presenting. Just don't turn the podium around. Oh. <laughs> I mentioned this to Patrice the other day. To give us, we all know you, but for the record, if you can please give us your name and yes, address. My name's Chris Kirby. I live at 3195 Laura Lane, Lithia Springs, Georgia. 
and please understand Ms. Kirby over here this is the public hearing for the millage rate any other topics you wish to speak on would have to wait until the legislative work session okay um but was that your question well okay then <laughs> oh so you're going to wait until the other meeting you're not going to this is a special call a public hearing for the tax and millage rate so that's it'll just be a few minutes okay any other comments or um, concerns about the public hearing as we have discussed and has a pre and had a presentation on the tax digest and the proposed tax increase and the millage rate madam mayor yes sir. just to clarify this is the third of three required public hearings on the millage rate no action is taken by this body during the public hearing that will be done at a special called meeting that will start at six o'clock or at the conclusion of the public hearing whichever is later so if you want to see us vote on the millage rate stick around and then following the special called meeting for the adoption of the millage rates is when we'll go into our legislative work session so that we've got three different agendas sitting out there for these three different meetings so we got plenty of business before us tonight, um, but right now we're in the public hearing for the millage rate. Yes, sir. Okay, so that was a 545 meeting. If there aren't any other questions or comments as relates to this public hearing, then this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>